Good morning. I'm Jen Amos at Weiss Research. I'm Andy Myers, and this is your morning market alert for Friday, November 19th. It looks like stocks on Wall Street will give back some of yesterday's big gains after China moved to tighten its monetary policy. The country ordered its banks to hold back another half a percent of their deposits as reserves. It's China's second reserve requirement increase in two weeks as the country tries to curb inflation, which rose to its highest level in more than two years last month. The move is weighing on the markets here and in Europe because a slowdown in Chinese demand would hurt global economic growth and corporate profits. Also weighing on sentiment in Europe are continued concerns about Ireland's economy. Officials from the EU, European Central Bank, and International Monetary Fund met in Dublin yesterday to talk about a bailout package. Ireland has been resisting a rescue, and its refusal to raise its extremely low corporate tax rate may still be a sticking point. But as confidence in the Irish banking sector continues to sink, a deal now seems more likely. Investors are speculating the bailout package could run up to 100 billion euros. The increased likelihood of a bailout for Ireland has been a reserve of trying to devalue the dollar by pumping more money into the financial system. But Ben Bernanke hit back at a speech in Frankfurt this morning, saying China's currency policy is preventing growth in other areas of the world. He argues that by keeping the yuan effectively pegged at a low rate against the dollar, China has made its own exports more attractive. Turning to corporate news, shares of Dell are rising more than 3% in the pre-market. After Thursday's closing bell, the company posted overall revenue growth of nearly 20% in the latest quarter. Strong results in Dell services, corporate and government businesses made up for its lagging consumer unit. ISI Group raised its price target on Dell, but JP Morgan is concerned about its performance going forward. It's telling investors to take profits when the stock rises. Elsewhere in the tech sector, Cisco Systems plans to buy back another $10 billion worth of its common stock. That's pushing Cisco shares up 1% ahead of the bell. A couple big companies are out with earnings this morning. H.J. Hines topped estimates with a 10% jump in its quarterly profit. For the full year, the food giant forecast earnings growth of 7 to 10%, with sales up 3 to 4%. Hines shares are moving modestly higher in pre-market trading. Meanwhile, Ann Taylor is rising nearly 5% right now after its quarterly sales and earnings beat expectations. Another stock mover in the retail space today may be Gap. It reported a slight decline in third quarter net income, but sales rose 2%. And one more retailer in focus this morning, Limited Brands. BMO Capital cut its stock rating from outperform to market perform. Amgen is set for a pop at the open after the Food and Drug Administration approved a drug for bone cancer patients. It's the first new drug for that disease to be approved in nearly a decade. However, Piper Jaffrey cut its revenue estimate for Amgen. A couple other stocks set for big jumps today. Foot Locker is surging nearly 10% after it swung to a profit in the third quarter. And Salesforce.com is posting similar gains on strong earnings. Following those results, both FBR Capital and ISI Group boosted their price targets on the stock. Other analyst actions to tell you about, UBS is weighing in on the agriculture sector. It boosted its rating on Deer to Buy and raised Agco from Sell to Neutral. Those two stocks are moving higher in the pre-market. And DuPont shares are also on the rise. Goldman upgraded that stock from Neutral to Buy. But Whole Foods Market is down more than 1% after UBS cut it from Buy to Neutral. And one more stock to keep an eye on this morning, General Motors. It rose just 3.5% in its debut yesterday. It was the biggest initial public offering in U.S. history, and some investors were expecting gains of 10 to 20%. Right now, futures are pointing to a lower open for GM. And finally, Harris Entertainment decided to cancel its $500 million IPO due to weak market conditions for the gaming industry. The stock would have traded under the name Caesars Entertainment. That's the latest from Weiss Research. Have a great trading day and a great weekend. Very nice. Whew, done for the week. <laughs>